Hi kids, Uncle Gabe here. We're starting a series called Doctrine, What Christians Believe. Doctrine just means what people believe. Today we're answering the question, what does it mean to be human? Hi kids, Uncle Gabe here, uh, editing the video right now. Uh, I think I need to tell you why we're answering this question, what does it mean to be human? Well, you and I, you know, boys and girls, we're all human beings, right? We're very different from animals. And I think the world tells us many different things on what it means to be human. Well, because God made us, we want to listen to what His Word says on what it means to be human. God made us, and so He gets to tell us why He made us. All right, back to video game. What does it mean to be human? So well, here's the big idea. God made humans in His image to enjoy friendship with Him and to live for His glory. So that's three big ideas. One, God made us in His image. Two, God made us to enjoy friendship with Him. And three, we live for His glory to show how God, great God is. Listen carefully, we've got a few fun activities and questions along the way. Let me talk about the first idea. God made us in His image. Have you ever looked in a mirror before? What do you see? Well, you see a reflection of yourself, right? The mirror shows an image of you. Well, the Bible says God made us in His image. In Genesis chapter 1, it says, so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that human beings like you and me are meant to reflect who God is, just like a mirror reflects you. We were made to be like God. We were meant to reflect who God is. Now, just like your reflection isn't exactly you, being in God's image doesn't mean we're exactly like God, right? For example, God knows everything, but, but you and I don't. So when we say we're made in God's image, it means that we're meant to reflect God in some ways, like we were made to rule over creation under God. We can tell right from wrong, like God. We are smart and creative, like God. And we love friendships, like God. Humans are not the same as animals, because God made us in His image. And so just like a mirror reflects your face, we are meant to be like God in His character. That's why we read the Bible, to know God better and to reflect Him. That's the first thing it means to be human. We are made in God's image. Now here's the second idea of what it means to be human. Number two, God made us to enjoy friendship with Him. Remember at church camp, we learned that God is Trinity. He is one God in how many persons? Three persons. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This means God was never lonely he existed in perfect love. Remember, God didn't make us because He needed friends, but because He wanted to share His love with us. God wants to be our friend. He cares about us. He listens when we pray. He speaks to us through the Bible. That's great news, isn't it? But there's a problem which we'll talk more about next week. Sin. Sin is our biggest problem. It's when we say no to God. And that turns us from God's friends to God's enemies. And here's why Jesus is so important. Jesus shows us how to be truly human and to be friends with God again. You see, Jesus was punished for our sins. So if you trust him, you can be God's friend again. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5, once we were God's enemies, but we have been brought back to him because his son Jesus has died for us. 
Can you see how good and loving God is? God let Jesus take our punishment while we were his enemies so that if you trust him, you can be his friend again. What does it mean to be a human being? So far, we've learned two things. Number one, God made us in his image. Number two, God made us to enjoy friendship with him. Let's chat in our small groups for a short while about what we've heard.
We're answering the question, what does it mean to be human? So far, we've learned two things. Number one, God made us humans in his image. Two, God made us to enjoy friendship with him. But why? Well, here's the third reason of what it means to be human. Number three, we live for his glory to show how great God is. Well, think about turning on a flashlight in a dark room. It shines and it helps everyone see, right? Well, our lives are like that flashlight. We're meant to shine and show how great God is. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 7, God says, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Living for God's glory means showing his greatness. You know, like gold or diamonds, which are valuable, God's glory is his great worth. We show his glory by living like Jesus. Jesus obeyed God's word. Jesus loved God and people. Jesus shared the gospel so others could be saved. If you want to show people how great God is, live like Jesus. You know, just like kids resemble their parents, God's goal is for us to grow to be like Him. So that when people see us, they will see how great God our Father is. The more we grow to be like Jesus, the more we show others how great God is. Now here's something you need to remember, kids. We don't try to be like Jesus to get into God's family. We try to be like Jesus because we're already in God's family when we trust Him. This is really important to remember. Our actions don't change God's love for us, but His love for us should change how we live. His love should make us want to be more and more like Jesus. To be human is to live for God's glory. Jesus helps us do that. And when we live like him, others can see how great God is. So kids, what does it mean to be a human being? Here's the big idea. God made humans in his image to enjoy friendship with him and to live for his glory. See you kids.